All right, guys, Kazoo seventy one here, back on Primal Fear. Um, last time we tamed that Caustic Parrot. Now, once again, the mods I'm using on this map are Primal Fear, Ebonus Astrium, Superstructures, Dino Storage Version Two, and Death Inventory Keeper, and the awesome Spyglass. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tame this uh, passive parrot. These little parrots are passive tamed, as you can see. It sees feet at rare flower. Um, I have a couple of rare flowers that I got, so I'm trying to get this thing, and I can't grab it in the inventory. I figured I'd use the boat and just get right up on it, but we got to get in the water. I'm not able to get to it, and I picked up its poop. Still not able to feed it. Look at this. It's ridiculous. One time. Got it. Fed. Okay, let's get out this water. Let's get back on the land. Hopefully, this thing will follow me, but um, the only reason I knew these were passive tame because somebody else was playing, and they, they tamed one really quick. And I'm like, how'd you tame that? And it was a passive. I didn't even know. i just been avoiding these things because I thought they were like uh, massive attack birds that would gang up on you if you hit one. So apparently they're not. They're passive, and they're a shoulder pet, and I can't even reach them. But let's try to get them here. Come here a little closer. They don't really do anything, I don't think. They're just cute. There you go. Now my parrot. Arr, parrot. Arr. Anyway. <laughs> I got a parrot. Now I'm a parrot. I wish they had. They should make a uh, eye patch mod or something like Not a mod, but so you could do different things like that with your face. Maybe the new uh, Arc 2 will have different things like that with the dynamic of how you can make your character and stuff. Here you only have certain limited choices, but maybe in Arc 2 they'll have more choices. So, But there you go. We tamed a passive parrot. Take a picture of it there real quick, just so I have it. May use it as the image, I don't know. I'm just kind of jumping around, see what it looks like, but not that important. So anyhow, so what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to tame this Brachiosaurus that I knocked out. Now, before I tamed that parrot, I'd already knocked this thing out. As you can see, it's a little ways up. Um, I just didn't show that part. I forgot to record it. But it's, it's a really low-level one. I just wanted to try it, see if I can knock it out and... Um, it didn't take much to knock it out, but this thing is huge. It's way bigger than a brontosaurus, and there's some dillos I need to go kill. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys this part, and then um, I'm going to go kill these dillos real quick, and I'll show you this, and then I'm using this godliath pipe that I picked up before. And um, right now, that is the only godliath uh, weapon or tool I have. There are more in this game, and I'll get some later, and I'll show you guys. But right now, this is the only one I've been able to find or pick up. Just seeing what these are. It's a normal Dillo, and I think that's an Alpha Dillo. They're really worthless. Let's kill them real quick. Yep, that's an Alpha. Come on, die. He's going to hit me. These things can kill me. As you guys have seen me get killed by the Apex ones and stuff before, but that was just an Alpha level 50. Not too bad. Let's kill this other one. I just don't want him to come near my um, tame. Don't really need these things. Easy to kill. All right, so those are out the way. Mm, this dodo looks kind of like it might be aggressive. So, um, yeah, I don't want it to attack my Bracky. So we're going to go ahead and kill this massive, scary dodo right here because it might attack. And we might as well get that one too because it's running at my Bracky. It, it was heading towards the Bracky. So, you know, I can't let that happen. I'm joking, by the way. I know they're not aggressive. So before somebody makes a comment. All right, so anyway, so it just went forward a little bit. The Bracky's almost tamed. You can see it's a level 95. There was a couple of them on the island. Um, I killed the other two and with my RG, and then I tamed this third one. A couple. I mean, there were three on my island. So, But I wanted to get this thing tamed just to see what it's like. And I don't think I don't show it in this video, but eventually I made a saddle for this guy and used it a couple of times. It's no different than the Brano. It's just a lot bigger. So and you get hurt a lot more when you jump off its back than you would a Brano because it's higher in the air. Well, let's just show you guys how big this thing is. It's monstrous. Let me go ahead and put it on passive so it don't attack something. And then we're gonna run back over here. I'm trying to get a picture of it. Just like the Brano, super slow. Super clunky, super huge, of course way bigger. But there we go, we got a Bracky, tamed one. Let's try to get a picture here. I can't get a good one here. Let me get on the wall. I was making a, a way to get up here so we can get a good picture of this from here. There we go. It's okay. Like I said, it's kind of pointless. It collects thatch and berries and stuff, but the Bronto does that too. 
So going forward, you can see there's a Lediacicus, whatever, the giant whale that kills the boats in the water there. And I saw this Alpha Trudon. It's only level 20, but I was curious, you know. So since Trudons have that narc effect where they can knock you out and then kill you while you're knocked out, I think, eh, let me try to tame this thing and see if I can use it to knock stuff out. So that's my goal here. I'm going to see if I can tame this guy. And a lot of these alphas in this game are writable, and this thing's pretty big, so it's probably writable. Let's go ahead and kill these other Trudons that are around it. Oh, that was an over-raptor. Uh, oops. Sorry there, guy. Yeah, you didn't want to live anyway. Kill that Trudon. Let me get that other one. There's one more. All right, cool. Now we're just going to fly up here a little bit. And I also made a harpoon launcher and a net projector. I don't know if I showed that in the other episode, but I tried something and it didn't work. So I've been testing it out on some of these dinos to see if it works. So let's try it on this one. And I uh, actually changed my mind. I don't want to try it on this one because if it doesn't work, it's going to knock me out and kill me. I don't want to lose my bird. So I tranked it, and it took one shot to knock it out because it's only level 20, and these are pretty powerful darts or bullets or trank darts or whatever you call these guys I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and throw an alpha kibble in there and get ready to pick it up because there's a therizinosaur right there, and I don't want to mess with that. Should be a pretty quick tame. And then we'll throw them out later and see, ride them a little bit. Come on, eat that kibble. I didn't have any tame helper on me at the time. You put a tame helper in there, these things tame instantly. It's pretty quick. Most of them are instant. Come on, eat. Eat already. What's wrong with you? You got a yummy kibble in there. Eat it. There we go. One Alpha Trudon. We'll mess with them later. I don't want to mess with them now. We're just going to flash forward a bit here. And what I was doing is just flying around looking. So here I'm on the ridge line. This is what I call the ridge line. It's um, the mountains between the desert and the grassy plains where we are. And that is a celestial ferox, level 145. That thing is crazy. We ain't getting near that. Now, if you fly in that dust cloud what's there, you will die. So just keep in mind, if you're playing um, Primal Fear and you see something shoot that cloud, wait till that cloud goes away before you fly down there because that cloud can kill you. So I'm just looking, there's an RG, I don't need no regular RGs, I need, uh, I think I got a better Anklo last time, so I need a better Dodicarus, so I'm looking for an Alpha Dodicarus, and there's a Fabled one, but uh, I'd love to tame that thing, but I can't tame it, I don't have the kibble for it right now. Um, that's a regular one, don't want a regular one. I really want that Fabled one, but I can't tame it. So let's see there. Oh my gosh, there is an Alpha 150 Dodicarus. It takes seven Alpha Kibble. I probably got close to that already. I'll make the rest. I got enough uh, toxic eggs and stuff. And we got a little garden going. We'll be able to tame this. So I'm going to grab this thing. I'm going to bring it back to the base. Mm. I'm just going to zoom forward a little bit here. We're going to play a little music. I'm going to fly back to the base, speed it up, and then I'll bring you back when I knock this thing out. And we're going to try to Trudon on it, by the way. you can see I'm back at the base here I told my partner I found this and I was bringing it back so this will be a lot better for us to collect uh, stone with than that regular dodecra so I'm drop that thing in a trap and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this alpha trudon and I'm gonna see if I can knock it out with the alpha trudon that's what I want to see let me see how much more kibble I got and get a team helper so I'm gonna grab a team helper this time kind of go forward a little bit and just telling her what's going on, and I'm gonna try to knock it out with this Trudon. Let's find out. There is old Trudon, and it is writable. Let me turn it off of attack target. 
Um, let's see here. Behavior. There we go. All right. Let me get a big picture of this real quick, and then we'll go try to knock this Dodicarus out. Uh, let me turn the spyglass off. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the backspace and turn off the HUD. And then we turn it back on. Good to go. Let's go try this. Let's see if this bad boy's got a trink and can knock out the Dodicarus. And it's getting hit. I thought it was me. That's my partner shooting it with tranks. <laughs> my bites are hurting it a little bit, but it's not tranking it at all. The trank was from the torp that it's got is from her shooting it, not from the Trudon. The Trudon didn't do anything to it. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out. We're just going to do it the normal way. Let me use these potent uh, trank darts on it, and we're just going to knock it out. Uh, I was really hoping this. Let me try it one more time. I was really hoping this would torp it, but it ain't doing it at all. It's doing nothing. So what's the point of having this Alpha Trudon if it don't do anything but bite? Maybe I hit the wrong button. I tried to right and left mouse. I tried to C button. Nothing worked. I'll find out later on that there's a X button or a control C for some of these. So maybe that's what it was. We'll see. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, she's running around on it. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? Uh, yeah, too bad it don't torp. It'd be cool if it did. All right, so we almost got this one knocked out. And this will be a great addition to our harvesting dinos because this thing is huge. And it should have a great weight capacity and melee and health, and we should be good to go. I don't even know if we'll make a saddle for it. We'll just carry it around with the RG. That's all we need to do. Carry it to stone and let it harvest. Come on, one more. There we go. Down for the count. Just flash it forward a little bit there. As you can see, I have no kibble on me. i got to go get some kibble. And there's some in my bird, because that's where I was keeping it as we were flying around. That is not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there and make some more. But we need more kibble. Yeah, it's going to take seven. Oh, I got seven. Never mind. We're good. All right, we had enough. Cool. We got a noof. You get old Trudon parked in here. And as you can see, I'm breeding the Argies out here. That's why they're sitting outside. They're breeding. There's not enough room in this little bitty building we have so far. We need to increase the size of this thing later. And I'm going to grab this elemental kibble. And because I saw a fire, um, Arky, whatever, one of those little birds you kind of glide with, the glidey birds, start with a A. Anyhow. It needed one elemental kibble, and I have one elemental kibble, and I need an elemental dino because that caustic parrot don't lay no freaking eggs. I thought it was an egg layer. It ain't no egg layer. It may lay eggs for, like, uh, fertilize. I don't know, but it don't lay no eggs for kibble, and I can't make elemental kibble with it. So, um, I mean, I can't make the uh, next kibble, which is the apex. And I need elemental eggs. So I need me an elemental dino that can lay eggs. There's only three of them. They're the Microraptor, they're the um, Featherlight, and they're the Archi... Let's just call it an Archipedago. I don't know what a thing's called. <laughs> Someone will probably going to make fun of me for not knowing how to say that one. That's all I get made fun of. Anyway, so here we're going to go. I'm going to flash forward here, guys. You can see I flew around. It's kind of dark now. There's that fire arc or whatever. There he is right there. Archie Pelex, and we're going to try to net this thing. And it is not able to be netted, so I'm in trouble. So we're going to go ahead and try to get away from this thing. But as you can see, the net doesn't work, and that thing does massive damage. And it's it's a pretty high level. I'm not able to kill it. So, But it only needed one kibble, so if I could have netted it, I could have got it. But anyway, let's go forward a little bit. Later on, much later, I'm on my island. As you can see, I tried that net on a couple of things. I want to try it on a toxic dodo. This is a zombie dodo. And look, it works just fine. So the net does work on some slings, some smaller dinos, but it doesn't work on that fire archipelago, archipelago, that bird. And it doesn't work on some other stuff. But there you go, guys. I just want to show you guys a little bit of what me I was trying to do. 
Um, if you guys like the video, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.